when I met you in the summer. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my skincare routine and some skincare tips. I've been getting so many questions about how I keep my skin so freaking clear, especially during pregnancy. So I thought I would just make this video as a resource for you guys. I did graduate esthetician school in March, but with this whole coronavirus thing going on, I have not been able to take my state boards to get my license, unfortunately. But skincare is something that I am extremely passionate about and I love so much so I thought that making this video would benefit you guys and maybe answer some questions that you may have but yeah let's get into my skincare routine so in the mornings I don't really wash my face I just cleanse with my cellar water I put it on a cotton pad and I just wipe my face get any of the extra dirt that may have been on my pillow while I was sleeping I do wash my face at night so I feel like washing my face in the morning is just unneeded and I don't want to over cleanse so I use the Garnier I don't know how to say it, Garnier, Garnier, whatever. I use that in my, my cellar water. And then after that, I follow it with the Real Complexion Hyaluron Skin Essence. I love this toner so, so much. This is amazing for dry skin. It's really moisturizing, makes your skin glow, balances out your skin, and literally just makes it feel so soft and supple. I am obsessed with this toner. After that, I go in with the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This, oh my god. I love niacinamide so much for so many reasons. It's a vitamin B3 and it works as a lipid barrier so it helps you retain moisture. It minimizes redness and blotchiness. That's what I use it for because I have rosacea. It regulates oil if you're oily, protects against sun damage, treats hyperpigmentation, minimizes fine lines and wrinkles, minimizes pore appearance, and helps with acne scarring. I've been using the niacinamide for my redness, my acne scarring, and to help lock in moisture because my face is dry. This is a product for every skin type. It's my all-time favorite product, so I just do a full thing of this, put it on my fingers, and then I apply it all over my face. Sometimes I'll put it on my chest or on my back because I do have acne scars there. Next is I go in with the Better Skin Co. Epic C Serum. This is a vitamin C. It's hydrating, it's brightening, helps reduce redness and even out skin tone, helps fade hyperpigmentation. So I've seen some myths out there that you can't use vitamin C and niacinamide within the same skincare routine. It's false. Niacinamide and vitamin C does my skin wonders. After that, I go in with the Cetaphil Redness Relieving Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 20. It is so, so crucial to have an SPF in your skincare routine, regardless if it's winter or summer. Always wear sunscreen to protect against sun damage. This moisturizer is tinted, which I really, really like. I love tinted moisturizer. So on days that I wear this, I literally feel like I don't need to wear any face makeup and it just gives my skin such a nice and even glow. Then at night, my skincare is pretty much the same, except I use the Bio Elements Moisture Positive Facial Cleanser to cleanse my face. If I'm wearing any makeup or I need to take off this tinted moisturizer, I will go in with the micellar water first, then I will wash my face with the Moisture Positive, and I'll just follow my skincare routine. The only difference is for the moisturizer, I will use the Frey Revive Me. They sent this to me. It's honestly lasted so long. I think they sent it to me in December, and I still have quite a bit of it. This is really good as a moisturizer. Also, so two times a week, I will exfoliate my face. Regardless of your skin type, whether you're oily or whether you're dry, you need to exfoliate at least two times a week. So on the days that I'm going to exfoliate, I will use this Bio Elements Flash Foam Cleanser. It's an exfoliating facial cleanser for all skin types. I love this so much. We used it at school for facials. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. So I will use this two times a week. I will also use the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. I love this stuff. This is a chemical exfoliant. You never want to use exfoliating scrubs. Not meant for your face no matter what it is, but this you do want to use this straight after cleansing. Nothing else. I make sure it's completely dry. So you apply it to your fingertips, apply it evenly all throughout your face, leave it on for 10 minutes, and rinse with lukewarm water. If it's your first time putting it on, I recommend only doing three to five minutes just to see how your skin reacts. It does tingle a little bit, but if it does burn 
burn and starts itching and you just like can't stand it, take it off immediately. Your skin is reacting to it. Better be safe than sorry. But I literally love this so, so much. It's amazing for acne scars. Literally takes off all the dead skin. You use this at night. Do not use this in the morning. So I will use this only once a week. When I do use this, I cleanse, use this, put on a moisturizing toner, put on the niacinamide serum, and then moisturizer. The following morning, please make sure you are wearing a sunscreen because this literally like just takes off the first layer of your skin, like all the dead skin. You do not want to damage your skin. Another thing, when you are washing your face, please use lukewarm water if you use too cold or too hot. It's going to change the pH of your skin. If you use too hot, it's gonna obviously dry out your skin. And when you are drying your face, always pat your face dry. Do not rub. Another thing is stay away from exfoliating scrubs, especially St. Ives. They market it as it's okay for your face, but it's not more okay for like your feet or your body. If you use it on your face, it's going to create micro tears and it will do long-term damage instead of like short-term damage. Another thing is if you have peach fuzz and it drives you crazy like it does me, um, I got these little razors off of Amazon. Apply like aloe vera gel before starting to shave your face and then just go down. This will help your makeup apply more evenly and I just, I can't stand peach fuzz at all so I do this all the freaking time. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from it. Please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. Comment down below if you want more skincare videos because I am an esthetician. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.